devil woman, devil woman, I don't need devil woman, let me be and leave me alone. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Beer for Beer Review channel. Back for another beer review. Going to jump back into another IPA, although we're going to go with a classic American. Uh, I believe this is, uh, what are they marketing as? Um, an American IPA, which is different somehow. I can't remember all these names, APAs and all that stuff. Try to keep up with it all. Anyways, this is uh, Against the Grain Pile of Face. Really cool can art. As always, uh, some people think their stuff is immature. I personally love it. Well, that makes say something about me. 6.5% uh, ABV. Drink from the can. I'm not going to. Uh, I, I will, though, but not today. In a world where all the skulls are being used up, we are left with nothing but piles of face. But fear not. That's where the story is truly told. Pile of face is the institution of American IPA. With all the character and drinkability one would expect as we celebrate American indulgence. Brewed out of Louisville, Kentucky. Brewer owned. Pick this up at Hop City in Birmingham. We'll go with the Hop City glass right here. Into the glass we go. I don't know anything about the hops. Um, you know, I try to go to these blind. Uh, so, you know, I'm not swayed. I want to taste what's actually there instead of what I think is supposed to be there. So, uh, about two finger of a little bit of off white head. Um, really tight bubbles, little soapy stuff on the top. Looks like the head's going to hang around. Not really expecting any alcohol lacing with 6.5, but uh, beautiful, clear. You guys can see that. You can see a ton of light coming through it. Copper, uh, gold color. Copper, gold? You know what I'm getting at. Orangish looking. You can see plenty of light coming through that. I can actually read Hop City through the back of the glass. Let's get a smell. Really malty, bready. Little bit of little bit of citrusy piney notes coming off of it. Sweet, malty, bready though is the dominating nose. Much different than the um, IPAs I've been drinking lately, as you guys who watch the videos can tell. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a taste. Mouthfeel medium to medium minus kind of thin not watery but definitely thinner than what I've been drinking um okay so sweet malty um like caramel malt kind of the deal going on with a little bit of citrusy piney stickiness going on not a whole lot though really muted hot profile on this beer um very much a malt ford ipa and maybe that's the style um you know just the ever so slightest bit of bitterness left on the side of your tongue finishes malty too though sweet not not like not like pastry stout sweet though just a sweet malt character throughout the whole front to the back of the mouth um not a bad beer by any means not my favorite uh you, you guys know i love a good punch a good amount of bitterness at the end of these ipas i love the dank and the grapefruit and that sort of thing it's just not there for this one doesn't mean it's a bad beer um but definitely not my favorite so um, worth picking up, worth trying. The price tag is a little heavy, um, but you know you pay it to drink good beer. You know that's just what it is. So, all right, against the grain, pile of face. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Till next time, y'all. Cheers.